Hi there Wargamers, it's a damn bringer here. I've got a, a bit of a painting tutorial slash painting guide or or, or um, if you want to call it how I paint things um, on one of the uh, Orc Hammer Fists. Uh, so I've gone ahead and primed the model already. It's um, one of those uh, Steinle Res um, Ebony Flesh colours. Um, so it's all primed. The sails are done the same as well. So we'll oh, get that in the shot there. There we go. Um, so... I'm going to start off um, with the wood, so um, I'm going to start off nice and easy with a nice heavy dry brush of um, Morn Fan Brown. So, get some of that on my palette. Hopefully this will be a bit um, quicker and I might speed up some bits and um, get some bits uh, that are um, not as vital to be seen on the camera. Um, uh, cut out and stuff like that, or sped up, or something like that. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So, um, it's gonna be quite a heavy driver, so I'm not gonna take too much off this um, first first layer, or first pass of the brush, rather, should I say. So, um, not really caring where it's gone on this one, because there's several panels which I'm gonna um, paint in a metallic. Um, is the work the way I choose so so this one's gonna be quite uh, a rough covering quite a lot of the surface detail no point painting that is a that's a tarpaulin it's getting shot still like shot there we go a bit closer there we go So I'm going to um, go away and paint, dry brush all the uh, the woody areas with um, this Montfarm Brown on the back in a tick when that's done. Right guys, um, after I've got that first dry brush down of uh, the Montfarm Brown, we're going to uh, step up with a, a bit of um, Skag Brown. Uh, this will be a bit, bit lighter than before, but um, not much lighter, so here you go, get those sails out of the way. So, what it's like in before. Oh, get in shot. There we go. So same as before, just a bit, a bit lighter. There we go. It's picking up nicely there. So I'm going to go around up this all the ship, and um, as before, we're going to. Dry brush the raised area a bit lighter than the first dry brush. I'll be back in a second when that's done. Right, guys, I've got that uh, lay, laid down now. That that next dry brush. Um, obviously, leaving a little bit in the ray, recesses and stuff like that. So um, obviously, uh, not being too careful of the sails. Got the uh, wood. Knife. So, a bit more. So, there we go, let's get a bit, a bit on there. Just pick out those high bits. There, but does a nice job of um, emphasizing that detail because the next step is a, uh, a brown wash going on, which this is going to tone down all the dry brush I've been doing and, and help it blend. There's a word, I think the words probably don't blend together a bit. Nope. Let's try and keep that on the screen, shall we? Get a bit more paint. I'm not entirely sure I'm using these dry paints right, you know, to put what 
but there's an awful lot of um, tapping it in the pot and then basically just wiping off everything you, you've managed to get on your brush. Well, I suppose that's dry brush in, the, uh, in a nutshell, really, but... Makes a change, it's not my hand that's in the way, it's the um the old fist on the old ship there. There we go, let's try and turn it around a bit so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. There we go. Keep bending that uh metal pin that I use to attach my uh, models to the bases. So I'm going to go around this and just look for any bits I've missed and then do the sails. I'll tell you what, we'll, yeah, you haven't seen the sail being painted yet at all. Yet. So uh, nothing overly complex and you still haven't seen the sail being painted. <laughs> yeah, so just the lightest of dry brushes just to help out so it. Enchilate? What the hell is enchilate? Uh, Emphasise the detail. Right guys, I'm going to finish off these sails and then we'll be back in a bit once this paint's dry and ready for a wash. Okay, see you in a second. Right guys, now that uh, last dry brush is nicely dry, um, I'm going to knock it back with a, uh, a wash. This is... Um, a mixture, oh, knock that out of the way, called um, Ali's uh, Brown Wash. It's um, actually devised by Ali Morrison. It's um, not something I follow, but I got it um, off um, Sonic Sledgehammer um, painting video about it. And uh, so it's so basically it's um, two parts uh, Agric Surf Shade and Seraphim Sepia with uh, Lamian Median and uh, a couple of brushfuls of um, Drakenhof Nightshade. Um, make a nice uh, brown wash for me. This is what we'll coat the wood in anyway, so um, without further ado, so... So nothing too complex here, just helps knock that, that highlight back and gives it a nice tone. Well I feel it does anyway. So, nothing too complex, I'm sure you can all manage a wash, it's just a matter of just going over it and slapping it all on all the wood areas, not being too worried if it gets to the other areas as well. So I'm going to go around and uh, apply this wash and then we're going to leave half an hour for it, to, for, for it to dry and then we'll be on for the next step. Okay, see you soon. Right guys, after the uh, wash has dried nicely, uh, I've noticed when they went a bit overboard in some areas, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so we're going to go on um, and basically paint everything that's not going to be uh, stay wood. Uh, a nice layer of um, German Panzer Grey, uh, just for the uh, help me um, differentiate it from the stuff that I basically see all, all brown. It's not. Not entirely necessary at this stage, but um, it makes me um, have a better idea what I've won paint and what's um, what's left to be done. So, I'm going to start with the simple bits, the, uh, the, uh, the hammer actually, the hammer mechanism or whatever you call it. It's going to end up being a metallic later. So I need to decide where... Um, Sorry, it's going to be moving my knife out of the way. There we go, it's better. So, I'm going to um, do this bit as well. So, um, where else should we go? Obviously, the cannons need to be done. So, a uh, bit of black, a bit of, um, I say black, it's, it's grey. Very dark grey at that level. And you can't see that. Yeah, so. Um, Bit of black on the cannons, uh, but I'm going to go with these, uh, these ver well, I say vertical uh, slanted pieces, I'm going to say they're um, going to be metal, so I'll pick those out, that one as well, 
obviously I'm going to uh, do it properly in a second. Um, this this tarpaulin area is a good thing as well. So um, I'm going to go around and pick out uh, like that that big horn as well. So I'm going to go around and pick out the um, bits in the, this this grey off camera because you don't really need to see me do that. I'll be back in a second to show you what it looks like once it's been done. Right, back in a tick. Right, guys, once I've got that um, nicely applied over to the all the bits that are going to be well, not be wood. It's looking a bit nicer, and it's. Um, Bit ready for the next colour, so I've obviously got I've left the sail because I'm about to, um, I'm going to base it on a different in white anyway for um, to, to make the purple st uh, pop a bit better. So I've got those uh, spikes ready for metallics as well. So next colour on the on the old list is this um, is iron hand steel, and we're going to use to do all the cannons, the, the mechanism thing here, or whatever this this thing is. Uh, Pat the Panels. I'm going to leave a couple of bits on the um, like these bits here to um, be like a brassy bronze colour, and I might do the hands in the same colour, but I might, I might do it red. I'm not decided yet. So let's get some um, paint on the old brush, and we'll uh, start applying some. Right, and let's make a bit of space. So start off with some cans. So there we go. Nice. Bit in that cannon there. Just slapping it on. Let's try and try not to get on the, on the wood. Not the end of the world if we do though. So, uh, yep. Just trying to keep this in the shot while I'm doing it. Hopefully that's come up in the camera and now my finger is in the way. There we are. And hopefully it's actually focusing. There we go. So we're gonna paint all the cannons, and we're gonna do these um, uh, armor plates. I'd say on the on the side. So we'll go start in the middle. Let's get them to the top, and then we'll worry about the sides in a second. I'm going to wash these back in a bit, so we're not worrying too much about um, shading or whatever you call it. So, do them, and we'll, I'll do the close-up bits a bit on the side in a second. So, now we're going to... that was also a um, one I decided was going to be a metal plate as well there, so we'll pick that out. So, let's... Um, do those these wheelie bits, whatever these are. There we go. We'll get some, let's start getting some uh, metal on this big worky bit. Technical term there, obviously. So I'm going to. Um, Painting this bit, these bits up, and I'll be back in a second when that's done. Right, guys, I've got all those metallics applied, so I've got a bit on the bottom of those sail thing there. I've got obviously all that uh, worky bits done. There we go. We've got all the guns on the side, even a little little one at the front that everyone gets confused about. And uh, now it's time to give these um, metallics a bit of a wash. So we've got another um, random wash again. It's, it's the um, Mark Bedford mix this time. It's um, another one from that's featured on Sonic uh, Sledgehammer's uh, channel. I'll, I'll link below to the videos of how to make these anyway. So this is basically a one-to-one -one ratio mix of normal oil, rackle and flesh shade and, um, and medium. So we're going to put this over um, all the metallic bits. Just going to slap it on. So nice and simple. Oop. Just throw that over there. It's got a bit of a, a nice red tinge to it, so um, uh, rusty is the wrong word, but uh, gives it a nice um, tinge, I'd say. 
a nice wet, weathered look or aged once it's dry. So we're going to sap this all, all over the um, mechanism bits and all over the guns and those plates as well. So I'm going to go around and uh, slap this all over. The metals that is obviously. And I'll be back once that's done to show what it looks like when it's dry. Right guys, that uh, wash has dried quite nicely and it's um, given the all the most those uh, silver bits a nice uh, dirty look and obviously put some nice uh, shading around those uh, rivets. I'd say, well, and obviously into the recesses. So now it's time to um, deal with all these uh, cloth areas, these, this tarpaulin or whatever it is on the top of this um, back bit, and obviously all the sails. So you get some um, white over this to um, get it uh, ready for the purple that we're going to be using. So we get a nice, vibrant colour. So. Um, Nice and simple, just going to do two coats of this stuff. And I don't think you need to see me do this because I'm sure you guys can just uh, paint white over something. Right, guys, it's, uh, sorry, this is, before we carry on, it's uh, Corex white. <laughs> right, guys, back in the tick once I've got these uh, bits done. Right, guys, as you see, you've got a, uh, a decent white down on that um, on the sails and whatnot now, so it's time to. Um, Whacking some purple, so we're going for a uh, model colour of royal purple here. I just really just can't see what <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, so we'll get that cracked out, see, see how that goes. Probably going to need two coats for this one. Right, here we go. Hmm, I'll put a bit too much water in that. Who knows? I might have only one coat. We'll see how it dries, I think. So, this is nothing complex. So, I'm just going to come back when this is this layer's down. I'll let you know if I do it. End up doing two layers. Okay, catch you in a second. Right, guys, uh, I've got the purple done. Uh, well, I say the purple done. I've got that layer done anyway. There's two, two coats. Got a nice solid colour now. Uh, sails are looking nice and uh, sailing. So, um, next on the list is Orc Blood, so we're going to have a bit of that. I'm going to leave the uh, recesses um, as the royal purple, but just kind of go over the uh, the raised areas now. Let's move that out of the way, if I can do the sails, you'll see it's a bit easier. Um, this this colour is very transparent. Um, Probably not going to come, uh, portray that on camera. I don't, know, I don't know if it is or not, but um, basically, uh, well, it's not. Uh, it's, I won't say it's not that it's crap. It's just um, it's not what I expected. There's probably ways um, that I should be doing this over uh, some some different prime or something like that. Anyway, it dries um, not a lot brighter than what you've already laid down, so um, I end up having to do two coats of this. So um, just basically going over the raised areas, like like I said, and not bothering with the uh, the the icon because I'm going to be painting that a different colour anyway. So. Basically, I do that and yeah, just go with that one over that. Yeah, we'll do that, and hopefully, that's uh, looking a bit. It looks a bit. It, it adds adds a little bit to it, but it's uh, it's not not a, a, a 
a, sh a fantastic effect. So I'm going to go um, ahead and paint the rest of these sails and the, uh, the the canopy on the back of the ship. In this, I might uh, I, I will be doing two coats in this to make it a little bit more opaque and a bit more um, obvious. It's actually um, somewhat on there. So I'll catch you when I've done that. Right, guys, the uh, two layers of that uh, all blood are, uh, are down and uh, looking a bit more opaque as I uh, dangle sails in front of you. Uh, now it's time to to lay down a wash. Um, Going to be doing a 50-50 mix of uh, Drakenhof Nightshade and um, Druji Violet. Just a simple mi um, mix, so I'm just, I'm just going to whap it all over the um, cloth areas. and It's nothing complex about this, just be nice and generous. Excuse me. I'm going to do a nice bit of shading on it and tone down that um, orc blood. Okay. Excuse me, and I'm going to uh, go away and get these over because the wash is not, not exactly a complicated um, application. Okay, guys, see you in a bit. Right, guys, that, that um, wash has dried nicely and it's looking nicely shaded and um, highlight as well with the because of the all um, blood cutter. Cut, cut, cutter? Colour, even. <laughs> so now it's time we're going to um, get these. Uh, Axe um, emblems painted in the colour, and we're also going to do the uh, fists and, on this um, little point of a brush you can't see on these um, arms painted as well. We're going to go for my fist in red with this one, so um, there we go. We're going to go for that, and we're going to do a nice simple one, just, just um, slap it on over those, those um, orc. Axe icons and I think we should be able to get away just the one coat of this and then we'll um, we'll have a have a wash over it as well in a bit. Yeah so that's nice and simple. Nothing too complex, a nice contrasting colour there from the um, from the purple. There we go. I might paint these sides, I've not decided yet. But anyway, let's get the, uh, some paint on those fists. And I'll do the rest of the icons off camera. Oh, and I'll paint the fists off camera as well. Things. And then we're going to slap that all over. I'm not going to worry about getting on if I get it on those spiky bits. Cause I'm, I'm going to paint them a different colour, um, I think. Same going for the... Um, this 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 bit here, this neck thing. I'm gonna go for some kind of brassy colour, I think, for that. So I'm gonna go away and um, paint up these icons and these fists, and I'll be back one to show you what's um, it's like when it's dried. Right, guys, see you in a sec. Right, the uh, red's been uh, nicely laid down there on those sails, and they're not even a shot. There we go. Uh, still getting this hand of it. There we go. Looking a bit flat, but obviously that's for obvious reasons. The uh, fists there. Uh, I get a nice uh, bit of um, agric surf shade now on the uh, on the shot, and we'll uh, get them shaded nicely. As much as I'm using these new washes that I've been uh, that I found the recipes for, um, um, I still I still love my uh, agric surf shade for what it does. Miracle stuff it is, even though actually one of the washes does actually contain agric surf shade. Anyway, we're gonna. Um, Slap that on those things and these. Same again with the fists. I'll go around a second to get the edges where I can see it rather in front of the camera. And um, we'll uh, just cake those fists with it as well. There we go. We'll slap that all over, guys, and we'll uh, be back once that's dry just to go on the next bit. Right. See you in a tick, guys. Right guys, the wash has dried quite nicely and it's uh, time to get a bit of a highlight on those axes and um, I'm going to leave some of the recesses um, as they are. I'm just basically going to go in with some more Mephist and Red and um, see if we can bring some life to these axe blades and uh, not overly much, just sort of like paint a bit here and there. 
I'm not going to bother the edge, the um, these bits. I, I did um, paint them red in the end, and obviously like put the wash in there. Um, but I'm not going to be concern myself with that too much. Just basically trying to f follow the um, sail line a little bit. There we go. Just probably a bit, bit too much there, but never mind. There we go. That kind of thing. So. Just need to do that a couple more times and those sails. There we go. A bit more life and it uh, pops a bit more on the table. So I'll do the other one off, the other three off camera. But we also need to do the same on these um, these fists. So let's see if I can get this under camera shot. So we're just going to pick out these fingers a bit. basically just gonna brighten up this fist a bit after the uh, wash dull it down quite a bit and we're gonna uh, just make that fist jump out of you or smack down onto the, um, the ships as a, so as a compare that one to uh, that side jumps out nice so we're gonna go around the uh, fingers There we go. Just just highlight those raised bits, and not not worried about if we uh, touch those uh, spikes because they're going to get painted a different colour anyway in a bit. There we go. Just keep going around. Let's go around those first and uh, give them us another layer of red in certain bits the raised areas there we go there we go that, I think that'll do for that bit for that red Let's get it in the shot. There we go. Oh, too far, too close. There we go. There we go. Still not in focus. Anyway, you get the idea, guys. So I'm going to go away and paint the rest of these um, these icons off camera and the other, other fist, and I'll be back in a tick when that's done. Right, guys, those um, sail icons are being painted nicely, and they're. Uh, Popping nicely from natural sails now, as is the um, the fists. Um, I think at the moment we'll leave the fists as they are. Um, so now it's time to um, deal with the, all these um, little straps going that are holding the sails onto the actual poles. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use some um, uh, model colour ivory for that one. And um, nice and simple. Let's get this in the shop. Just gonna pick those out. Now it may look a bit bright at the moment, but we are gonna wash this back in a bit. So just nice and steady. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go. Also going to do these ones here as well. So all the um, loopy bits, I'm going to uh, paint with this ivory. So I'll be back once that's been done. All right, see you in a second. Right, guys, just spotted um, something that needs painting in this um, ivory colour. We've got some um, repairs going on here, so. Just pick those out in the eye rig as well, little um, stitchings. And I'm, I, what I did in a few of the other ones is like, add of um, a, the odd bit of ivory here and here and then to um, represent the sails have been a bit, bit more repaired than mine. So, there we go. 
So, just a bit of a bit of added a bit, a bit more uh, interest in the sales. Anyway, guys, uh, gonna carry on with this bit and uh, catch you in a second. Right, guys, uh, now the um, straps um, are all painted nicely with that ivory colour, and also they've uh, put the few um, additional repair marks on, uh, for lack of a better word. Um, so it's time to tone them down a bit with a little bit of a wash. So this one is going to be uh, Seraphine Sepia, um, or Sepia, or however it's said. Uh, we're just going to um, just pay, well, basically paint, paint it over like we um, do all our washes. Just slap it on, and we're going to uh, go over all these uh, these straps. Give a bit of a used appearance, so Ooh, a bit too much there. Not the end of the world. So I'm going to go away, guys, and uh, drop all these washes on these uh, straps, and I'll be back once it's uh, done and dried, and I'll show you what it looks like then. Right, guys, after the um, sepia wash or sepia wash, that's how you want to pronounce it, it's dried on the sails. So uh, the um, the ropes are looking nicely weathered and dirty and not fresh, so that's nice. So next on the um, pecking order is the do these horns that we've got on the ship here. And there's a little tiny horn in the crow's nest. Uh, there. Just, just cover it up with my finger. So, we will start off with um, a nice brown. going to start with dryad bark for this one. Right, here we go. Let's get some uh, dry eyed bark on these horns. There's actually two horns here for some reason that are uh, pretty much overlapping each other. Just going to slap that on. A little bit underneath those uh, rings, they're going to paint the same colour as all the, um, what I'm going to call decoration metallics. Right, that's one side done, I think. Yep, we'll do the other side off camera, we'll get this little, um, little one done. Pretty much only one little pass, isn't it? Take a bit off there. There we go. Right. We're back in a second, guy. Once this is dried, and we'll get rid of the other ones. Okay, back in a second. Right, guys, I've got the um, spiky bits. Um, well, the spiky with some, I'm calling them bony bits. Um, uh, base coat in that, that um, dryad bark. Was it dryad bark? Yep, dryad bark. Uh, now it's time to hit with some with some um, shabdi bone um, to um, make them look like bones. Well, there you go. Uh, so um, I decided to paint the spikes in the back as well um, as bone, and also um, picked out the um, the, the uh, what do you call them? The bands that go around these things and run this uh, speedy device, I'm saying, in the, in the, in the same brown as well. So, um, did that as well. So, let's uh, get some spikes um, painted and see if we can get this in the shot. There we go. So, not going to try and not cover it 100% of it, but perhaps leave a little bit um, showing on them. The real magic's going to be done by the washes, as usual. So our next spike. There we go. There as well. Yep. 
Another biggies. There's actually a bit of detail on these ones, which is uh, will make life a bit easier, probably. There we go. Anyway, you get the idea, guys. I'm going to do the rest of the spikes off camera because um, there's only so much repeating myself that you like that you can watch. Oh. There we go. Anyway, back in a second, so they're uh, done as well. See you in a second. Right, guys, that's the uh, uh, Shabdi Bone has dried nicely on those horns. It's time to um, put some shade in there. And it's, as per usual, uh, we've got a, a nice a bit of agricultural shade to uh, do that with. So we're going to just slap it over those horns. So it all rose into those uh, nice little recesses. Where there is recesses to go into, obviously. Right, and then we'll just get the ones on the back as well. There we go. Get any big pulls, obviously. Oops. Well, if you can see that. There we go, almost done. This and there's two little, say two little horns, one little horn on top of the uh, sails. I believe we've got to wait a while for that to dry. And you still can't see that, sorry guys. Anyway, it's just you've seen me pelt washes on stuff, so it's not complex. Last little bit, that teeny tiny horn, top of the sails. The rest of the ones on the sails I'm going to be able to do them like a metallic colour. There we go. Right, we're going to leave that a while to dry and then we'll be back for the next colour in a bit. Uh, but probably while it's dry I'm going to get a crack on with a different one. Okay guys, let's see you soon. Right guys, um, while that uh, wash is drying, let's get those out of the way for a second. Um, fail miserably there as well. Uh, we're going to um, start off with these these bits that I've left for uh, decoration parts, spikes and stuff like that. So um, I've got colour here is Castellex Bronze. I'm going to start these off with. Work our way up to, through the few colours as well to make it a bit shiny. So. Um, Gonna start with these um, rings around the bottom of the fist to um, make it pop a bit more, and then gonna do the rest of the spikes. We haven't already done like the bone colour. All right, now let's do the other spikes. The other spikes over the end. I'm going to do all these spikes jutting out from these fists as well in the same colour. There we go. And you can't see that again, sorry guys. Right. 
Right, we've got the rest of the sprites that are in that hand as well, and we're going to also, um, there's some rings at the bottom of these uh, horns as well, we'll get those as well. The, the, the wash is dried enough around there not to get too badly affected by this. There we go. And then uh, I'll do the rest of the um, those bits on there, so the bits, so we've got the uh, horns on the sails as well. Probably it's meant to be done in a uh, more bony colour, but I've decided to do um, these bits and then this metallic bit. Mine. Your ships, you can do what you want them with. If you can do me a favour, guys, if you like what you've seen so far, just um, drop us a like. It really helps me out. YouTube touch you do some sort of recommendation to my channel every once in a while. Doubt it'll happen, but you never know. Every little helps. So, guys, I'm going to do is paint the rest of the spikes. I'll be back for the next colour in a second. Right, guys, as the um, wash has now dried sufficiently enough, enough, I'm going to um, hit the horns with a bit of this tyrant skull dry. Surprisingly enough, that's a dry brush. So, um, just keeping, oh, excuse me, towards the top of the horns and uh, just brush it over like we would normally. Just to brighten up the ends a bit and the raised areas. There we go. And the same again on either side. And the same again on the back. And as it will take like two seconds, the little horns melt well there. There we go, guys. Right, then we're going to, we'll continue in a second with the. Uh, metallics on these spikes right back in a second guys right guys um now that that metallic's dry just trying to get these um spikes looking a bit bit um a bit brighter a bit more shiny so um i've got some uh I shook cup oh god i shook copper and um we're gonna um get like 90 percent coverage on this i'd say probably just like similar fashion to the um the horns so um I just like that kind of thing even a little bit of the, of the base probably so hopefully some of this is in shot nope it's not there we go so I'm gonna go around all these little spikes put a bit of this uh, copper on it Kind of like a double brush rather than Oh you're yeah, not forgetting these um these joint bits excuse me or whatever you call them mounting points of the fists maybe I don't, I don't know this anyway this ring yeah, I'm not going to use the word, um, yes, I'm not going to call it a piece. Anyway, so that's uh, one side done, there's obviously the um, spikes on the sails. Same idea. Kind of like a wet overbrush. There we go, and we're going to go around all the rest of those spikes, and I'll be back when I've done that, guys. Right guys, uh, now we've got that uh, copper down on all those spikes and the um, collars of the fists. Oh, it's time to um, do all the rest of these um, bits in a bit of a highlight. I've got um, 
some Gehenna's gold on my brush. I'm going to give it a bit of a, um, bit of a dry brush. Probably going to be he quite he heavy dry brush, probably. Medium dry brush. I don't know. Anyway, we're doing this. So, um, bring out a bit more uh, colour to the uh, spikes. And I've just realised I haven't done the rings on the uh, um, horn spot. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll bring that back up in a second. Or rather, I'll probably just do it off camera and uh, show you what happens. Don't you just hate it when you do that? You are trying to paint a certain colour. That. Yep, and we got those spikes to do fist and off camera. We'll do a little bit of a yeah. So nothing too complex. Just uh, there we go. Right, and I'll go sort those um, these rings out and get them back up to uh, speed. Oh, you can't even see them. Anyway, back in a second when all that's done. Right, guys, once I've got those um, spikes and the um, mounting points of the fists per, uh, painted with that uh, gold and the, dry, the driver's arm, as we're saying, the, obviously the rings as well, um, those, and the sail ends. I'm going to um, finally hit them with a bit of this Necron compound to just make them... Um, Pop that a little bit more. So let's crack with that on. Obviously, this is going to be a dry brush. Wouldn't be the dry, the dry one of the dry paints. So let's get a bit of that paint on the brush. And there we go. And yeah. So let's get this in the shot. There we go. So I was just going to make the, a bit of a dry brush for the um, spikes and whatnot. not. To make them really uh, shine a little bit as well I suppose. I don't think we've got anywhere near enough for today. Let's give it a bit more of that stuff. Yeah, that's a bit too much, but never mind. So to give the uh, these collars, I suppose. Bit of brush oil brushing. There we go, All right guys, I'm going to go away and uh, finish dry brushing these spikes and the, on, the, on the rest of the sails and whatnot, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. Right, back of the tick guys. Right guys, uh, the spikes and whatnot are looking nicely um, shiny and poppy, uh, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just putting it taking out a shot. So I think the only thing we need to do is, um, is make those bolts or whatever, um, Differentiate a bit, bit from the um, the ring that they're on. So um, I'm going to get some uh, Agric Surf shade. Um, bit of that, yeah. And we're going to uh, just basically drop a bit of wash just just over the uh, the bolts. So just get a bit on the brush. Put it in shot. There we go. We got the round. Yeah, there we go. Just tap it on the uh, 
The ball needs a bit more wash so it just flows around. A bit like that. So let's go around and do a few of those. There we go, and I'll do one more. Right guys, I'm going to go around and paint the rest of these off camera and I'll be back when it's, when it's all done. Right, see you soon guys. Right, right guys, I've uh, gone ahead and base, uh, attached this to a base and done uh, my, my water effect bases on it as well. Uh, that'll be in the next video guys, to, rather than making this one stupidly long. Um, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So, um, there we go, that's that model finished. Looking rather nice if I do so it's on myself, I'm quite happy with that. And I'll be uh, hopefully doing the ba uh, one for the Basilei and um, Elohi as well at some point soon, hopefully. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Drop us a like if you could. And um, a comment as well as what you thought about the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. And I'll see you all later. There'll be some little uh, beauty shots coming in a second. So uh, keep you keep peeled for that so we can do some still photographs so you can see the, um, the, f the final uh, result of the uh, paint job. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.